How y'all doing? Thank you so much for joining me once again at the Texas Boys YouTube channel. And in today's video, sadly, yet again, another train has derailed. And you might be saying, well, where now? <laughs> you know, what crazy place in the U.S. has another train derailed? And what was the train carrying? Well, it derailed in Florida. And of course, it has to carry some type of toxic... Um, something that would harm the environment just in case it exploded or leaked or something like that. So it was carrying 30,000 gallons of propane. Let's dive right on into this, y'all. A train carrying over 30,000 gallons of propane fuel derailed in Florida along the Gulf Coast. The freight train operated by Seminole Gulf Railway derailed on Tuesday, February 8th in an industrial area just a few miles away from Sarasota and Bradenton in International Airport in Manatee County. The airport itself is just 52 miles to the south of Tampa. Emergency responders noted that the train was traveling south when the derailment occurred. The cause is currently not known, just like all of the other ones that we still don't know. Yeah, um, I think with the, the East Palestine or Palestine, however you want to say that town, I'm pretty sure it had something to do with the axles or something locking up or the brakes or something. I kind of forget. It's It was still very shady. And an investigation is ongoing. The crash affected at least seven rail cars, five of which contained sheetrock. Well, that ain't going to hurt anything at all. And two were filled with propane fuel. Of course. <laughs> the five rail cars with sheetrock tipped over along with one of the two rail cars containing propane. The seventh affected rail car was off the tracks but upright, according to the Southern Manatee Fire and Rescue Chief Robert Bounds, who led the immediate response to contain the disaster. Southern Manatee Fire and Rescue was joined by personnel from Manatee County Emergency, Emergency Medical Services and the Manatee County Sheriff's Office. Bounds estimated that emergency services personnel could remain at the site for up to up to five to seven days as the mitigation process could not take that long. He added that they need to bring over heavy equipment to deal with the train cars and fix the tracks. We'll be on the scene when, when they do upright it with all of our personnel and equipment ready to act. Real quick, I just wanted to tell you about the sponsor of today's video, and that is the TexasBoys.com, our little farm shop that our family runs and owns and we absolutely love doing it and we love blessing people with amazingly high quality products from our unvaccinated unfiltered unpasteurized um honey and we got little gift size um pecan honeys to some medium size honeys and all the way up to one gallon honeys also um we love supporting our local small family owned family run uh, coffee farmers out there. We absolutely love them and they do an incredible job and also supporting our local coffee roaster too. Also, we make another thing called the Native Brew. I drink that pretty much every podcast, y'all. If, you, if you're wondering what in the world's in, in Matt's cup, that is the Native Mud. I love it because I don't get jittery. See, hands are nice and still. And um, it wakes your brain up. You don't talk like Joey B. And... Um, awesome stuff seven different types of mushrooms in it and will definitely help with your mental health and your physical health anyway also we have merch too you definitely need this one in today's society make common sense come again also we have that in t-shirt form but anyway i'll let you all get back to the video thank you so much if you already placed an order uh with us i want to say from the bottom of my heart thank you thank you thank you ever so much and it is a big blessing to me and my family. All right, I'll let you all get back to the show. In the event that something does go wrong, said Bounds, local media outlets added that the crash caused significant damage to the train tracks, which could leave the railway line inoperable for days, even after the tip cars have been cleared. And as we know, another big factor that plays hand in glove with this whole train derailment thing and we'll be getting more into how many 
train derailments have occurred of lately, which it's been an incredible amount. But the thing is, is that just like our bridges and our roads and things like that, the government loves to pump billions of dollars everywhere except for um, investing it in our own infrastructure, which is our highways, our roads, our bridges, and our and our train tracks. And um, a lot of our train tracks, I was reading some a couple articles, and a lot of our train tracks are super outdated. Um, a lot of the videos, you can pull them up online too, a lot of the videos where the trains are going down them, they shake like crazy. Um, it's incredible how trains can even go down there. It, it's pretty crazy. It's incredible. So part of me is saying it's a setup, but then on the other hand, you know, the the other big key factor in this whole situation is that our train tracks are just on their last leg and they're like, oh no, we're going to have to, we're going to have to fix these train tracks now. Good. They're already junk. Go ahead and put in some new train tracks. Stop sending billions of dollars over to the Ukraine. Bounds added that the crash possesses non-immediate threat to the public, but avocations would immediately be ordered if the situation changed. Emergency crews are also regularly monitoring the air quality in the immediate environment. Rail companies pushing back against safety rules could make rail accidents more likely. Here we go. The Manatee County train derailment is the fifth significant train derailment to occur since the devastating Norfolk Southern train disaster that occurred in East Palestine, Ohio on February 3rd. On February 13th, three cars in Ernie, South Carolina, were derailed on the same day. A truck deliverer was killed following a crash involving a Union Pacific train in Splendora, Texas, less than 40 miles north of Houston. Multiple rail cars were affected, including five that contain vinyl chloride. Ooh, that sounds delicious. I put that right over my cereal every morning. And that was five rail cars. So that's a lot of vinyl chloride. On February 16th, another Norfolk Southern train derailed in Michigan. I think I was saying Norfolk. That was my bad. It's Norfolk. So sorry about that. Southern train derailed in Michigan with over 30 cars derailed. And on February 21st, another Union Pacific train carrying coal derailed in Nebraska, affecting more than two dozen rail cars. Well, at least coal's not going to kill anybody. That's uh, still pretty crazy. Data from the Federal Railroad Administration shows that over 1,000 train derailments happen every year, with most of these incidents classified as minor and causing little to no damage to people and the surrounding environment. But industry experts have warned that the devastating kinds of train derailments, including the one that just occurred in Manatee County and the one in East Palestine, are more likely to happen now. This is due to longer trains, the way of their cargo, potentially malfunctions with train implements, fewer and more overworked rail workers providing services, and heavy industrial lobbying limiting and pushback against existing regulations on train safety in effort to reduce costs. Well, there you go, y'all. At least they didn't have to, um, I think propane is just a little bit more steady than the toxic chemicals that they were working with up in Ohio where they had to supposedly burn them and blow them up and scatter them to the north wind at least with propane and things like that um it's a little bit more rugged you know for now until there's like oh man accidentally when we were cleaning it up one of them exploded or leaked out those crazy things can happen you know accidents do happen accidents do happen but when accidents keep happening and then they align with other supposed accidents and then it just looks like a threat to we the people and our lives and our health and our well-being and a lot of these chemicals were either in the last were in the clot shot or play very heavily into getting cancer and 
Big Pharma absolutely loves that and they don't want to stop that because they get to sell lots of more chemo crap and cancer drugs and things like that. So anyway, y'all, that is the article for today. Thank you so much. Um, I was, us boys went down to the Brazos River and uh, we were just chilling out down there looking at some dinosaur tracks and things like that. It was my 18th birthday. Just having a good fun time. So I took off a day. So that's why there wasn't anything yesterday. But today there's going to be several more articles, Lord willing, um, that we'll be able to go over. So love you all so much. And uh, we'll see you all in the next video. Bye-bye.